were delivered to my office, I was compelled to act. And I, as I said, I adopted the, a higher standard of proof before taking the decision due to the seniority of Mr. Munir and the strategic importance of the SEC and the capital market. So I, I, I believe, uh, and, and that's the answer to the timing question, there's never an easy time to make a tough decision, but sometimes tough decisions must be taken. I knew at the time, and this was one of the reasons why we had, that he would try and link it with Rwanda, but I must run that risk. And he indeed tried and did various uh, actions which I don't want to discuss here uh, and, and, and I think can be contested and disproved. It has nothing to do with Orlando. And I'm speaking now because the current management of the SEC are here. I met with them yesterday and they're giving me a progress report on that very forensic audit which he claims I directed him to stop. It is not correct and it is very wrong of us as capital market operators to play fast and loose with shareholders' money. Every individual should face their own matters. Owando has nothing to do with this SEC as an institution. SEC was here when I was a capital market operator. We met SEC and we would leave SEC. Munir Guazo, with respect, is not SEC. SEC is an institution and they're doing their work. And that work will continue. Now, on the issue of interference, I need to make it very clear. Ministry of Finance does not interfere. But we give policy direction. And I will point out that on, on and I, I can bring, it's just a pity, I can bring documentation on many issues on which SEC consult us. And we will write back and say, do this or don't do that. We approve this, we don't approve that. So why is it only on the decision where you're suspended that you now say we're interfering? Many, many memos written by him asking for direction on various issues. That's our job. And I don't do it alone. I don't exercise those powers alone. I have the permanent secretary of finance, a very experienced capital market operator, senior banker, Dr. Mahmoud Dutse. I have the director legal who was formerly in SEC. I have a team. So it's not a personal issue. It is about the market. The answer to the question of owning shares in Oando, I do not own a single share in Oando. So I, that is uh, not, um, uh, no share. And no member of my family owns any share in Orlando. Um, the question, was he told to resign or be suspended? I don't want to join issues with Mr. Guazo, but the director legal and the perm secretary who are not here were both there when I spoke to him. And I think you can ask them, even under oath. He was given no such ultimatum. Mr. Guazo was given no such ultimatum. I say it again. And indeed, in his memo, talking of a verbal directive. In the capital market, there's no such thing as verbal directive. If I need something done, I write and I sign. So there's no verbal directive. It's just mischief to link the matter to Wando. Let us deal with the issues. You are directing a company that is dealing with SEC. You are not supposed to be a director of a company. You claim you resigned in 2012, but you're still applying for a credit card in 2016, which shows that clearly you are still an active member of that company. And that, that is not in compliance with public service rules. So Mr. Munir should face his matter and please let us not drag listed companies that have thousands of staff and millions of shareholders into this matter. It's really very wrong. Thank you. Honourable Minister, before I leave you, there's a question by, there's a question, uh, hold on, hold on. There's a question by Honourable Abonta about that you should please let us know companies that had gone through SEC investigation where you have friends or what are you, I mean, gracefully allow SEC to do their job. You, you, mentioned, you, you were talking about some companies and friends. Like, can you tell us one or two of such? I, I can put on record the fact that the directors of BGL are personal friends. And they were banned for life under, and I read the file, and I said I'm not getting involved. The, the job, SEC has done its job. They did their job very well. And there are other members, uh, uh, because obviously I was in the capital market for many years, so I have many friends. Thank but you. I will not, I don't interfere. I have no reason to interfere. I give directive where direction is needed. And on Oando, I will restate, the forensic audit is ongoing, it's continuing. I had a meeting yesterday with the acting DG. The work continues. Thank you. Thank you. The question by Honorable Mogheji. No. no. There are still questions. There are still questions on that. There was question about what's being done to reconstitute the board. That is being worked on um, as we speak. Uh, there was a question about 
my actions being preemptive. I restate, my actions were to protect the market. It's very bad for market perception for there to be a question mark over an acting regulator. And, 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 and the usual practice is to remove that regulator, substantiate or dismiss those allegations, and that person then either resumes work or is otherwise uh, removed, and that is, uh, remains the position. Um, uh, the question whether Nigerians outside were taking, I believe Nigerians outside know the facts. They've seen what we've done and they will have heard the evidence and they will see the evidence. It will be made public that we have, uh, this is not the first time I've had to unfortunately suspend a regulator and I hope it will be the last. But it, it's done seriously and it's done with integrity and it's not done personally. This is for the market and the market is for all of us. Thank you. Thank you. There's a question from him that you, in the absence of the board, that you are the board of SEC. And that does it mean that actions taken by SEC are invalid? He now specifically asks about the sus technical suspension. Um, I think the director legal should take that question because I think that's one of the legal points being raised. Um, but what I will say is that the suspension of Oando, um, and I think Mr. Munir alluded to it, was not cleared with us before it was done. But we validated it and endorsed it. Ordinarily, it should have been cleared with us before okay. it was done. It was not. And when we sat down with the team, and many of them are here, we said, what was the basis of what you did? They took us through all the evidence, and we said, go ahead. So I, I don't think that there is a legal issue because the Ministry of Finance, as the Board of SEC, validates and supports and endorses the decision of SEC as an institution to suspend the shares of Orlando. And that's our directive that the, the uh, audit must continue.